this way back HD, but please don't get confused. Without any further ado, I am pleased to introduce Mein Zwarte Yevin, aka Kona Plianka. I got downgraded to 79 from 82, I'm still a monster. Mein Zwarte Andri, the beast from St. Petersburg. My first name is the same name as my icon, and I'm insane. My two star week for two cares. My left is a gift from the gods. Yes, lads. David Myler, is that you? Yes, lads. What's up, big boys, and welcome to an episode that I am very excited about. Today was the release of a Prime Icon, and a Prime Icon that is going to completely shift the way that we're going to be playing on Reader Glory. We thought we were going to do a League of side. I was convinced of it last night, but then this Prime Icon... The 91 rated Prime Icon Shevchenko, aka the 2004 Ballon d'Or winner and the 5th all-time goal scorer across all, goal co across all competitions in Europe was released today. Now, he played in the Russian League, he played in, uh, he played for Milan obviously, as well as Chelsea and Dynamo Kiev in the, uh, in the Russian League. It got me thinking about the Russian League, which was already suggested to me by a couple guys on Reddit, as well as you guys in the comments, it was between Ligonos and the Russian League, and I think we are going to do a full Russian League weekend league, featuring 20 matches played with this Shevchenko. Now, we're going to use him on the main account today to see how he performs. We have a very, very spicy and tasty squad waiting for him in the wings. Pretty sure this card is based off his time in Milan. Obviously, he scored over, I think, like 140. As a matter of fact, hold on. Let's unlock him so we can see uh, so we can see his stats. I believe it's something like 173 goals for Milan in 296 appearances, 60 for Kiev, and then went to Chelsea, 22, Milan uh, back to Chelsea, and then Dynamo Kiev, and then I believe he retired uh, to be a politician in Ukraine. Now, 48 goals, I believe, makes him the all-time goal scorer for Ukraine. If you guys maybe know otherwise, let me know in the comment section below. If you've tried out this prime icon, 91 Shevchenko, let me know how he has played for you in the comments below. If you managed to unlock his full SBC, which I believe goes for just under 700,000 coins according to Footbin. Um, not sure. I mean, I've got I've got just over a million coins on this account with some players that we just bought. We had 2.53 million. I'm not sure I want to do the full uh, the full one, but we will find out today in the three matches that we're going to be playing with Shevchenko if he is actually worth doing as a full SBC. Smash that like button, boys, if you guys are hyped for the episode. Yeah, massively appreciated. But let's go check out what squad we've got prepared for him. And I don't think you guys are ready for it. On the count of three. Eins... Zwei and drei Shevchenko. We've got Yevhen Konoplyanka, one of the biggest downgrades from last year. Went from an 83, I misspoke in the intro, down to a 79. We've got that prime icon Sheva, and then we've got Yarmolenko, who has the two-star weak foot, but he is on the right side as a left-footed player with a decent bit of curve uh, and long shot, so we should be okay there. We've got Bonaventura representing his Milan side alongside Rodriguez, and then team of the year, uh, Bonucci, who I have not used yet. Looking forward to that. We've got Donnarumma in net. We've got one of the Berezutsky brothers, the one that got an inform. We've got Farfan, who I have not been able to try out as much as I wanted to. Uh, but this will be the experiment. This will We will see how this Russian League side, on the right side at least, performs. Going to be keeping a close eye on Farfan uh, and then Fernandez. Farfan, who I believe ships as a striker, has pretty decent passing stats. 85 short passing, 80 long passing, um, 84 strength. Just looks like a really, really crazy card, if I'm being honest with you. A lot of you guys recommended him. Uh, also, one of the questions of the episodia for my Russian League side on Henri de Glory. Recommend some players. A lot of you guys have said uh, team of the group stage, Kokorin. Um, we've got ourselves, obviously, Fernandez and Farfan that we're going to find out, uh, find a way to wiggle in. But uh, we also have ourselves Fernandez. We've got ourselves, uh, we've got ourselves this Fernandez who, uh, who got our Berezutsky on 10. Otherwise, it would have been Forget who else we had. I think it was Smolnikov, who was a better card. One less rating, but some decent stats that got the uh, seven chem link into Berezutsky. What, 99 beard? This is 99 beard, dude. This is the Shevan Yanko squad. When I logged into my foot account this morning, I was surprised by a very surprising message. I did get up, oh, I did end up, and I think we all ended up getting something uh, for tuning into the Barcelona Cup. You're not really fine. No one knows about it yet, so everyone backs out against this particular kit. Oh, is he gonna back out? No, he's staying in. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it. Let's see what we're coming up against in match number one. He's got himself that Salah. The Razutski, dude! That awareness is not gonna cut it. He just he literally let him just walk, you just walked right through him. Wait a second, that pass though! What? He's got 
90 curve. You know what we're gonna try and do? We're gonna try and finesse the nuts off this guy. Bonucci, yes. Dude, 96 Bonucci, you better be doing that. Yes! Come on! Two for two. Hasn't missed one yet. Dude, you gotta completely change the way you play with the 4-3-3. It's freaking me out. Freaking me out! Patrick! Yo! Andrei Shevchenko, and we're doing the dead fish. The Shevchenko hat trick, boys. Let's go! Got up to a slow start, but we managed to turn it up. And by the way, that kit looks absolutely insane. I think it's called the, the straight kit or something like that. Shevchenko, three of three, and the Hattie. Yarmolenko missed a couple opportunities. We get an assist from Yarmo, we get an assist from Berezinski, and then also Fernandez. Uh, but the most important thing, we do light up the scoreboard. We do get three goals in our first match. Uh, with Andrei Shevchenko. An incredible, incredible first goal. The little chip to put it over the keeper. Very, very clinical to put it through. One game, three goals scored. A perfect match, a perfect rating so far. Let's get into match number two. Let's take a really quick look at the stats because we kind of glossed over that when we got into the epi. Uh, player details, obviously we know all that. 94 attacking positioning. 85 composure for a 91 rated striker. Hopefully that didn't seem to be, that didn't seem to affect him at all finishing those chances. 77 stamina lets him down a little bit, but definitely usable as a starter. 86 heading, 86 jumping. So I think we have him tactically positioned in the middle between Yarmo and then Kono. Uh, 90 field kick, uh, uh, free kick accuracy, 90 curve, 92 shot power and 89 long shots. We are going to slap on the Hunter Chem style. And he doesn't have the loan. He's got himself the 92 Prime Icon uh, Schmeichel as well as the 91 Perez. Uh, the the Vendor Sar loan could be actually something we do on the Henri de Glory account as well. Instead, maybe 20 games played. The, the 20 matches we use Shevchenko for, maybe we also use the 20 with that Vendor Sar. Match number two. Let's see if we can pick up where we left off. That would have been a filthy goal. Huh? What? That's not who I was pa dude, I was passing to Sheva! Bro, that pass was not meant to go to Yarmolenko! That was supposed to be Dude, it should be it should be one nil right now. Quasi mette fuori tempo Montero. Cavi Moreno bene. Shevchenko nello spazio. Va via Shevchenko accelera. Salta tutti Shevchenko. Cerca la conclusione! It wasn't a pretty goal, but we get the fourth goal for Shevchenko. Ah, oh, I was looking for that all game. I wasn't even... I, I meant to pass that. Oh, look at the run. Perfect run. His defender just gets knocked off Shevchenko with a little bit of a push. Not sure how legit that was. Four goals in just over a match and a half. Berezutsky again to the rescue. Referee! Good goal. Oh, good goal. Okay, no, 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 no. I was completely disrespectful. That's supposed to be my brothers, right? They're my brothers? No, no. That's not fun. What they were doing wasn't fun. They kept zapping us and zapping us. Idiots! Savages, idiots! Idiots! How was mine not a pen? Dude, seriously, how was that not a pen? He completely destroyed him. He didn't even play the ball. He knocked my guy out. I mean, little idiot. Yeah. Am I overreacting? Yes, Laz. Am I overreacting right now? Yes, yes Laz. I mean, yes. I, I, I don't. I'm not disputing the fact that maybe this guy didn't deserve to win, but not like that. He didn't deserve to win like that. We're gonna give the 4-3-3 one more chance, but let's take a really quick look at Yarmolenko. What does he have for finishing stats? Yarmo's got 84 finishing, so technically he could play as one of our strikers. He's got 85 passing as well. That's a tough one to swallow. I'm, I'm not going to say that I, I didn't have a whole lot of chances, so I, I, I can't really... Obviously, I'm not going to blame the opponent, but... Why did the ref not call that? Why you mad? Why you mad? Let's try that again. He's got Gabriel Jesus up top. <sighs> I don't know. Am I... <sighs> I hate thinking that I'm overreacting. 
I don't think I've ever despised refs as much as I do in FIFA 18. Am I, am I the only one here? Vanessa? On it or did it go off? The floor is lava! <laughs> I've never seen that's a new one. I've uh, that is a new one, boys. I've I've not seen that one yet. It didn't I thought it might have deflected off by it didn't go off by. It went off an 89 weighted keeper's hands that he that he should have had easy. And that little delay off kickoff is him trying to process what just happened. Farfan? Rocket blast. Absolute rocket blast. Monster. He's such a monster! First half is in the books, and I, while I feel like I deserve to be up, again, while I don't feel like I deserve to go down on the goal that I conceded in the last match to lose, I also don't feel like I should be up on the goal that I scored in this one to be winning 1-0 right now. Let's see if I can make myself feel a little bit better. Let's get another Chevy hat trick. You are it, Todd. Uh, yes. <laughs> I would, I'd back out. If I was this guy, I would back out. If I was this guy, I'd probably back out right about now. Berzutski up to the task of stalking, stopping one of the maddest cards in the game. Berzutski, stand up. Dude, I feel very confident going into Weekend League with that Ber informed Berzutski. And now, if I'm being honest with you, I probably deserve to lose two out of three matches. If I don't get a horrible, horrible message from this guy, I will be very, very surprised. Baye has his hands in his pants, obviously. Directory change at all. No. He can't trap the ball. I don't understand what I just saw. That is gonna do it for the Andrei Shevchenko episodia. Now, the 4-3-3, again, not a formation I'm 100% familiar with, but in terms of getting the chemistry, this was the best way to get everyone on. I believe the lowest player we had was 9 chem. Everyone else uh, was on 10. So it was a new formation learning experience. I didn't want to go to what I was used to because I'm trying to break out of that mold and just maybe be a little bit more creative with my play, get used to playing different formations and that sort of thing. So um, four, three matches played. We got a disconnect, so it says four, but we got ourselves... Uh, we got five goals in three matches with Andrei Shevchenko. Now, he's really, really strong. Definitely felt that even though uh, even though his strength is only 79, he felt way stronger than 79 on the ball. The finishing was just out of control. Finished every pretty much every opportunity that we put through, even an opportunity that Tio, the ball is on fire, Coutois was not able to uh, was not able to save. But that is going to conclude the Andrei Sheva Shevchenko episode. Yet. If I had to give him a rating based on his loan, obviously he goes for 670, uh, 700,000 coins. Would be untradeable if you do the SBC. If he goes down to 450, maybe 500,000 coins, I would definitely consider doing the full SPC. If I had to give a rating based on the on-pitch performance, I would have to give him a 9.1, 9.2, just because he didn't miss any opportunity, didn't really get to show off his uh, his long shots. Playing him at cam would be something you could possibly do, even though he doesn't really have great passing stats uh, to utilize those long shots, but he has those as well, if that is something that you have in your arsenal. But anyway, boys, if you guys did enjoy the episode, yeah, hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. I will see you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, boys. Tschüss. Later. Adeh.